welcome in to another stitch tutorial and we're going to be using sparkly because you know i feel like i need some sparkle in my life so as you know this is for the floret stitch or floret i would say floret because i think floret is more a double r i have no idea however you want to pronounce it this is it so this is a lovely little stitch um that isn't as much of a, a yarn eater as most word of warning if you are a, a tight tension person you might struggle a little bit with this so just be warned so get that slip knot started and let's go so you want multiples of two or a good even number however you want to say it three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen and twenty and once you reach your desired length you then need to add a further three we have one two and three to start the first row we are going to count four away from the hook so we're not counting the one that's on the hook because that isn't a stitch yet that's only a partial so we're counting the one before the hook one two three and four and in that fourth one we are going to do a double crochet So that extra three that you already made at the start is acting as a double crochet. In the next chain along, you want to make a double crochet again. And the same again in the next chain. And so on and so on to the end of the row. And that is where I will meet up with you when I'm down here. See you in a moment and welcome back so we are now at the end of our row and we are going to chain one and turn row two in the very same stitch right at the very very beginning just there we're going to do a slip stitch so yarn over, pull through, and pull through again. In the next stitch, we are going to do a double crochet. Like so. In the next slip stitch, and then a double crochet into the next and in the next a slip stitch etc etc until the end of the row and you should end with a slip stitch okay so keep going and i will meet you at the end so I'm just doing the final slip stitch now. Oops. And you will notice, not only by look, but by feel, that it's different on each side. At the end of this row, we are going to chain three. Now this will act as a double crochet just like your chain of three did at the very start and there we have a few little bumps because one side you're going to have some bumps and one side is going to be flat so anyway row three is just purely double crochet now as this acts as a double crochet this chain you don't need to go into that very first 
but you do need to go into the second and do your double crochet and then the next stitch is where you tight crocheters are going to struggle a little bit because you need to go into the next which is where we did a slip stitch and you need to go in and do a double crochet in the next stitch double crochet in the next another DC and carry on with double crochets across the entire row and then I will meet you when we've got past all the bumps see you in a mo I'm just finishing off my last double crochet now and as we are at the end we are now going to chain one because we are now going to be repeating rows two and three so this is the side with the bumps you can just about see them you can definitely feel them but we're now turning over to the flat side and here as we've chained one we need to go into that very same stitch for a slip stitch so pull it all the way through in the next you are doing a double crochet in the next a slip stitch in the next a double crochet and so on until the end of the row now for this one i will stay with you so we've done the double we're going for the slip stitch going for the double slip stitch double oops wish the camera would stay in focus that would be very very handy slip stitch double slip double oops oh one second slip and you just keep doing that over and over till you get to the end double slip double slip double slip oops sorry oops slip double and don't forget the corner make sure you do a slip in that very last so that's the flat side you then need to chain three and that's where you repeat row three which is always got the texture on it and you can just about see the texture there so I'll do this as the last row so we're ignoring that very first one where this double crochet has come out of we're going into the next another double crochet into the next into that slip stitch from the previous row 
Make sure you use the full stitch and not a partial. Double into a double, double into a slip. And you carry on across the row. See, even though I'm not an overly loose crochet, I'm fairly loose. And even I struggle getting into the slip stitches. So just be very aware. This stitch makes for great hats and scarves and blankets and anything where you need an almost solid fabric. Almost solid fabric obviously it will depend on the wool that you're using as well but thankfully not a yarn eater yay so there's a bonus it's a great one for dishcloths and flannels as well especially if you use like a tinsel yarn for the textured side and maybe swap out each time when you do the the double row like we're doing now to a cotton and then swap it back when you come to do the double uh, the double slip double slip with the tinsel just an idea and if you haven't already down in the description below just underneath the details of this stitch is my Etsy shop if you care to take a gander at the stitch markers and the progress keepers I would be much obliged there are a few other little bits on there as well but for you guys um, take a look anything that you want made slightly differently personalized maybe or maybe you'd fancy something rather in the form of a key ring or earrings or a necklace etc all you have to do is ask so I'm going to end this here and put on a stitch marker which is one of mine And there we go. So there's the textured side. And then the other side is flat. So there we are. There we have it. That is your floret stitch. Let me know if you've already given it a go. Maybe you have, maybe you haven't tell me down below and maybe while you're down there you're willing to give a thumbs up if it was at all helpful or maybe it's given you an idea and heck subscribe it's free hey you may even want to become a member of the channel help the channel grow and also help make the giveaways that little bit bigger it all helps and if you can leave your comment down below and i'll see you next time Take care, guys. Bye-bye.